People that prey on other people can be found in every culture. They go by many names, one of which is sociopath. A sociopath is someone suffering from a serious psychiatric condition called antisocial personality disorder. While no one is born with this disorder, it is associated with a pattern of antisocial behavior that began before the age of 15. Recognizing a sociopath's personality despite the existence of telltale indications can be challenging. Similarly to predatory animals in the wild, sociopaths are masters of camouflage and cunning. Antisocial behavior and an absence of conscience and empathy are hallmarks of the sociopath personality. With every slither and slurp, a sociopath sows discord and chaos wherever they go. Knowing the telltale indicators of a sociopath can be helpful for you to identify and understand people with these tendencies so that you can set healthy boundaries. So here are seven signs someone you know might be a sociopath. Number one, lack of care for other people. Careless is often used to describe a sociopath's interaction with others because they generally have very little regard for other people's well-being. On top of that, antisocial individuals generally have very little regard for the law and so may engage in actions that are illegal, such as harassing and fighting others, destroying property and stealing. They lack a moral compass and won't show regret or remorse when they've made a bad choice or have hurt or harmed others. Number two manipulation and gaslighting. Antisocial people may manipulate and deceive others to gain rewards or pleasures such as money, power, social advantage, or sex. Because of this, they can make favorable impressions on others through exuding charisma and charm in their encounters. Even if you try to confront them about their manipulation, they may try to gaslight you by denying the incident, saying you're imagining things, or even accusing you of being crazy or insecure. Number three, deceitfulness. Sociopaths have a reputation for being dishonest and deceitful. Just like how they'll use manipulative tactics to take advantage of others, they may lie to get their way or to get out of trouble. They also embellish the truth when it suits them, exaggerate things or distort facts to fit their narrative. And if you catch them in a lie, they'll use denial or projection to avoid taking accountability. Number four, impulsivity. Antisocial individuals often make decisions without thinking it through or considering the consequences of their actions. They tend to be very much in the here and now, doing whatever they consider necessary to achieve their immediate goals. This may mean leaving their partner out of the blue and not call or text them for days or quitting their job without having a plan for what they're doing next. Because of these rash decisions, they may find themselves having problems with maintaining jobs and relationships. Number five. Irritability. People with this condition are easily irritable, so they may react to even the slightest frustration with aggressive, threatening, or verbally abusive behavior. For example, while waiting in line for too long or being stuck in traffic jams annoys everyone, sociopaths in this case may respond with violent outbursts. Number six, irresponsibility. People often believe that sociopaths are usually successful, charismatic people in positions of power. True, there are some sociopaths who manage to succeed in society at large, but they are the exception. While persuasiveness and charisma are sometimes seen in sociopaths, irresponsibility is a common problem for those who suffer from this condition. Monotony and routine make them stressed and they get bored quickly. Reckless behavior is how they escape that boredom. And number seven, negligence. Do you often find them doing dangerous or reckless activities? Sociopaths tend to care very little about their safety or the safety of others. For this reason, they may seek out and engage in cheap thrills and risky activities such as drunk driving, overindulging in drugs, alcohol, or gambling, or engaging in unprotected or unsafe sex. Is there someone you know who is showing some of these signs? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might find benefit in it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.